another astonishing artifact. A mysterious upart hammer allegedly made 100 million years ago. How did this hammer get stuck in a piece of rock? Look at this. This is just unbelievable. An interesting find, if genuine, it would be a bombshell that would rewrite much of what we believe we thought we knew about our history. This is via the Epoch Times. Upart, that means out of place artifacts. It's a term applied to dozens of prehistoric objects found in various places around the world that seem to show a level of technological advancement incongruous with the times in which they were made, according to our beliefs. If you see the video before this one concerning the 100,000 year old electrical component found embedded in stone, that's really not stone, it's a material that uh, contains various uh, granites, mica, and materials that we don't even know of. Why was it made? It was found by, of all people, a very knowledgeable person, an electrical engineer of all people, uh, as he was taking a walk, a nature walk, he found it. And uh, it was found in North America. Now, what were these high-tech things doing in North America? Now, this is another one, the hammer embedded in the stone. The hammer was found in London, Texas in 1934. It was encased again in stone that, found, that had formed around it. The rock surrounding the hammer is said to be more than a million years old. As we know, we can have earth changes, uh, ash fall that... Uh, turn into stone, uh, mud floods from volcanoes again, and or even um, some kind of lava embedded in this stone, as you can see. This is just unbelievable. Even the piece of wood is still there. Maybe it's turned into petrified wood. Now, um, the rock surrounding the hammer is said to be more than 100 million years old, suggesting the hammer was made well before humans could have made such an object or are thought to have existed. Much mystery surrounds this so-called London Hammer of London, Texas. Many have contested claims that the hammer is so old. Carl Bow, who is in possession of this artifact, announced that it was tested by Battelle Laboratory in Columbus, Ohio. It's a laboratory that tests moon rocks for NASA. And according to Ball, the test found the hammer to have unusual metallurgy. It's 96.6% iron, 2.6% chlorine, and 0.74% sulfur, and there is no carbon in it. Carbon is usually what strengthens brittle iron, so it's strange that carbon is absent. Chlorine is not usually found in iron. The iron shows a high degree of craftsmanship without bubbles in the metal, and furthermore, it's said to be coated with an iron oxide that would not readily form under natural conditions and which prevents rust. Glenn J. Kuban, a vocal skeptic of Bow's Hammer Claims, wrote in 1997 in his paper titled The London Hammer, an alleged out-of-place artifact, that the tests were conducted privately rather than at Battelle Laboratory. He cites a 1985 issue of the magazine Creation Ex Nihilo, Epoch Times, contacted Battelle Laboratory to verify. A spokeswoman said she had not heard of a hammer in her 15 years at the lab, but she would check into it. Kubin said the stone may contain materials that are more than 100 million years old, but that does not mean the rock formed around the hammer so long ago. Some limestone has formed around artifacts known to be from the 20th century, so concretions can form fairly quickly around objects. Concretions are masses of harder, hardened mineral matter. Bao's website says, however, that the fossils in the stone surrounding the hammer, quote, retain fine detail, indicating that they were not reworked, but are part of the original formation, unquote. This would suggest the fossils and the hammer are from the same time period, that the fossils did not just get mixed up in the materials that form rock around the hammer at a later date. Quote, even if Bao's statements are true about the fossils retaining fine detail, it would not at all preclude the nodule being a relatively recent concretion, since the reworking would not require any significant amount of 
abrasion or transport, end quote. This is what Kubin wrote in an email. Kubin also questioned Bao's claims since they had not been published in a peer-reviewed journal or other authoritative li literature. Carbon dating performed in the late 1990s, quote, showed inconclusive dates ranging from the present to 700 years ago, end quote. Bauer supported David Lyons' reported, uh, supporter David Lyons' report at the time. And according to Kubin, Lyons said that the test had been contaminated by more recent organic substances. Such contamination is one of the reasons Bauer is said to have delayed having the artifact carbon dated. Skeptics say he delayed because he feared being proven wrong. Dating is often called into question on both sides by skeptics and proponents for various reasons when it comes to oop arts. The object was found by a hiker, and it seems it was not found embedded in the original layer of rock, which would have made a stronger case for an ancient origin, of course. It was a chunk of rock found resting on a ledge, perhaps having tumbled down from within a larger formation. The evidence of the hammer's age, Bao said, part of the wooden handle had turned to coal, the photos of the hammer showed a black part of the hammer that looks like it could be coal. The debate surrounding the hammer's origin has become bound up with the creationism versus evolutionism debate. Bao is a creationist, Kubin is a creationist turned skeptic, or a much more moderate creationist in any event. Creationists take various stances on this artifact, and many evolutionists dismiss it as a creationist hoax. Kubin wrote in an email that, quote, not a single major creationist group has endorsed or his claims about the hammer, end quote. The object remains a fascinating one apart from its role in this controversy. This is one of the many objects said to be out of place in time. Epoch Times continues to explore more such findings. The article updated April 22nd, Epoch Times adds quotes from an email correspondence with Glenn Kubin and clarifies information about concretion formation. Tara McIsaac, Epoch Times reports this, this unbended reality. Tell me what you think about this. Very strange in any event, even if it's 700 years old. Okay, it's got a coating that uh, does not allow it to rust and it does not have any carbon in it, from what he claims. Tell me what you think. Thank you very much for your support. Leave a comment, ring the bell for updated videos, subscribe and share. Thank you so much. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.